Good morning, students. Today we're going to see what is an inference. To start with this, I will give a definition by Cambridge Dictionary. An inference is a belief or opinion that you develop from the information that you know. When do we use inferences? We use them when we want to give an opinion based on things that we know, or when we want to express a belief on something that we know. I will give some examples and I will show the structures that we're going to use to create inferences. There are a lot of ways of expressing them. Nevertheless, sometimes it's better to use certain structures to state a clear inference. For example, in this picture, you can see a woman with a tear in her eye. You could say, she is sad. But we would like to give more information and we'd like to put explicit textual evidence on that sentence. So, why do we think this? We can see that she's crying. So we're assuming that she's sad because people cry when they are sad. The correct way of stating an inference in this case would be, since she's crying, I think that she's sad. I will show you more examples for you to understand this. Here you can see that there's a table with words and phrases to give reasons and results. Please pay attention to that picture in the screen. We can see that she's jumping on a bike. This is our textual evidence. It's a fact. It's something that we can see. We know that most of the times, people that jump on motorbikes are in competitions. This is our background information. It's something that's more general. In Teal, you will see that you will see the background information. And in green, you will see the textual evidence. What do we do with this information? I gave you two examples in this case. Since she's jumping on a motorbike, I think she's in a competition. Please pay attention to the word since. This is going to be our word to give a reason. Then we have she's jumping on a motorbike. This is our textual evidence, what we can see. And then I think she's in a competition. This is our background information. Another example can be She's jumping on a motorbike, therefore, she's in a competition. In this example, I use the word therefore, and this is going to be our word to give a result. Now, to show you more examples, please pay attention to these two pictures. In the first one, my example was, my inference was, based on the fact that he's holding a terremoto and eating an empanada, I think he's in a fonda. My textual evidence is that he's holding a terremoto and eating an empanada. It's a fact. It's something that we can see in that picture. Now, our background information is we know that people normally drink terremotos and eat empanadas and fonda. And I use the phrase based on the fact that to give a reason. On the other picture, we can see a man, he's eating vegetables and fruits. As a result, he will have a healthier life. My textual evidence is that he's eating vegetables and fruits. We can see it in the picture, it's a fact. And then my background information is that we know that people that eat vegetables and fruits tend to have a healthy life. And my inference, he's eating vegetables and fruits. As a result, he will have a healthier life. I decided to use the phrase as a result to give a result in this case. So the most important thing is that we use the textual evidence, the background information, and then we create an inferences, an inference. I really hope that you have enjoyed the video. And see you next time, students.